Making his way to the ring from Harlem, New York, weighing in at 487 pounds, Big Daddy V. What's up, wrestling fans worldwide? This is your man, Big Daddy V. Uh, whenever I got into the seventh grade, we had wrestling in our schools. And um, whenever I went to the ninth grade, that's when I started amateur wrestling. I started amateur wrestling in the ninth grade. And uh, I wrestled for four years. I was really good at wrestling and I was really good at commercial arts. So I, was, I had to make the choice between the two and I chose wrestling. I have a lot of respect for Jerry Lawler. And I have a ton of respect for Jerry Jarrett because those are the two men that actually gave Harlem Knights the break to go to WWF at the time. Bam Bam was the guy that I was like, wow, I like that. A big guy that can move, I mean, really move. That impressed me and I wanted to be like him. And, and for me to make it in my first pay-per-view match was against him and I pinned him. <laughs> I mean, what, what more could you ask for, man? Truly blessed, man. If you ever knew Nelson Frazier, you, you knew that he was, first of all, a very, uh, very likable guy. He was a great man. He was a great man. Anybody that knew him knew he was a good man. He would do anything for anybody. And I loved him very much. He's the only man I ever loved, as a matter of fact. The one thing that I, I hang my hat on to this day is being the first person to ever pin The Undertaker on a pay-per-view. That, uh, as you know now, uh, and even back then, it was unheard of. Uh, but I was the one that actually got the one, two, three on him. And man, you can ride that out for a lifetime because, I mean, he's portrayed now as the greatest wrestler of all time. It's been a long, long, long road. A lot of people have grown up watching me, and there's a new generation that, that know know me in a different character, but... I, I mean, I'm not anything special. I'm not like a Stone Cold Steve Austin or anything, but I've had so many different characters that have really touched people's hearts, starting with Men on a Mission and the Love Machine, and, you know, you go to Big Daddy V, and I mean, people just remember what they remember, and I'm just a rememberable type of character. I have a lot of fans around the world, and I acknowledge them, and I, you know, I see them, and I appreciate them. Because the jokes about him being big or whatever, but I guarantee you, he was a good wrestler, and he was agile in that ring. And he gave a lot of other big guys the motivation to do what he was doing. And he deserves to be respected for that, not insulted. He was my best friend, he's gone now.